Alright, time to figure out what the fuck we're going to talk about. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. Hello. And Bragg. Hello. How is our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, let's start with Bragg. So, Amazing Defenders came out. It did. Uh, not many, not that many people are aware of it. I feel there's no, there's no one buying it. So I've been raising the word of uh, everyone buy Amazing Defenders and uh, try and sell me the Mink Uncle cards. Do you not have everything you need now? I could always do it with more. Yeah. Also, you've misrepresented it. It's not that people aren't aware of it. It's that people, ah, people do not ah, care. People, I, people no, know it's, it's Defenders got, is released. Yeah, it's this got, is worse than Duelist from the Deep. At least Duels from the Deep, there was a Ghost Rare and Droplets you could get. <laughs> there is nothing in this. Yeah, it could have done with a There is a rare Collector's Rare 1 for 1. That yeah, was. but that's still 1 for 1. <laughs> uh, it, so, yeah, it's, I mean, between Fire Hydrants, Eevees, and uh, oh, the, yeah. the Ritual Women. I have now fully switched. I want to play Fire Hydrant deck. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we recently go through the fact that it's really bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really shit. Yeah. But I think it's really fun. I think being able to be like, set four spells and trap cards from deck and looking at your opponent going, oh, oh, I think that would be really funny. Yeah. I'm looking forward to chain happiness, chaining the perm. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it, and even the, um, the, the other two archetypes, what I mean? Mick also struggles a little bit in that meta, but it doesn't get done by the shuffles and stuff, so it's actually kind of cute. Been talking to Paul Pelican a bunch from the chat, like we've been just workshopping this all week. It's been fun times. Um, it's kind of a special, I'm going to probably play as a special engine in tier until something happens with tier, and then I'll think about the Liberant. Oh, Even then, it's, it's sense for effect, so like, you just play it in tier. Little yeah. engine, you just go, it's a steal that you can play in tier that also triggers your tier monsters. Yeah. Like, it's it's logical. Yeah, it's cute. And that was my week of just building that and then missing originals. But playing a really good locals as well. Yes. Really good. That I was enjoyed that locals. Yeah, that was that was a fun experience. Even though it was only four people, it was still like because everyone's at the regional. It was like ah, oh, people at regional. I'm not coming in. Yeah, even though only two people are at the regional. <laughs> yeah. Well, set to be what? It, four. it was supposed to be five, six. Including you? Well, well, that's the thing because the pre-reg thing, I was never really in it. Uh, um, like if there'd been spots available, for sure, I would have been there. But yeah, so if the spots were available, it would have been six of us because Kurt would have gone as well. Yeah, it might be time for that certain store owner to think about hiring out the the bowling club function room down the road. That's all I'm saying. He gets yeah, that's like a hundred people go. And all like, right, and they and they would do more. They would easily keep going, and that would be like really good for the region, and mm. like because that is, um, out Western Sydney. I suppose the issue is they don't really have any staff outside of like the two owners, so to actually run it at another club, you would need more staff because yeah. it's a matter of either running it in the store, well, and then you don't have enough room to cater. The store is no, but the store is not open. It like, is open. No, no, no. Like, so they actually close the store on Sundays. I believe it's not open. Yeah, they really? yeah, they only run it back there. Yeah. They'll do tournaments on it. Because I've always been like, oh, is the regional actually on? Because it says store closed on the opening hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's not an issue. The store is advertised as being closed. Okay. So their two workers could work, just run the tournament elsewhere, like other, uh, other rare areas do. Well, Orange, I'm just saying. Orange is... At the bowling club, I got worried last night because they've like they got their store listed and then the address. I'm like, oh shit, they've moved it back to the store and there's a player cap of sixty four this time. I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god. But no, it's still the bowling club. I just think that they've got that cap because that's probably what they talk to then. And also, it seems like a there's. I think so. They've gone for a cap of sixty four, but there is so much fucking space in that room. Yeah. With a sixty four player cap because that's what it was last time. Mm. So nice. Yeah. I'm really like, looking forward to this regional. <laughs> you get an entire desk, like an entire table to yourself. Like, full-length table to yourself. It'll so be nice. good. It'll be good. Season Orange next weekend. Next oh. Saturday. Yeah. Yes, next Friday night, we'll be making the trip down. If you're, if you're in the area, come to whatever the pub is that we're going to. Um, yeah. Like with YCS, if you see us, 
have a chat. I like I love talking to people. Um, even with Paul, like playing a couple of games with him at YCS. And yeah, my YCS sucked for those who were keeping count. And that was my week, month in Yu Gi Oh! Pretty miserable YCS. Yeah. Ben, uh, my week in Yu Gi Oh! Um, what was that? I'm playing Madolche. I was playing Madolche. Eh. Mm. It was fun. Like, it did exactly what I expected it to do. Um, no point did I win a game I thought I was, wasn't going to win, and no point did I lose a game I thought I was going to win. Um, so, yeah, this kind of does its job, doesn't it? Uh, and now I've switched on to what I'm playing for Orange, uh, Redacted. Um, oh, yeah, I've decided oh. to play Redacted for Orange. Um, really thought that, like, I'm going to test some stuff out. I've got three blank in the main deck. Um... I think I need to change my side deck out because, like, having six copies of this um, cause issues. So I'm just going to, like, cut those out and uh, I just need to work on that. Once my, main deck, once my side deck's finished, I think I'm good for the event. We could nearly cut and paste that um, that speech into every... Uh, what are you doing to prep for this tournament? Yeah. And that will work. Yes. He's definitely talking about Rescue Ace. I'm going to walk out to Orin and be like... Shh. <laughs> the SAS has uh, arrived. Uh, to, to be fair, okay. Uh, I don't know how this is going out for him, but Poe is playing Rescue Ace at Penrith today. He is. He is in the room playing Rescue Ace. Actually, YCS champion. As it happens, I might be able to tell you exactly how he's done. Did Poe top 8? If he top uh, 8. Jake be like, I can tell you exactly how he's done. The top 4 are not on this list. <laughs> Although Fox came 3rd, actually. Fox is 3rd, yeah. Uh, is he Poe? I swear if fucking Poe... If he top ace, we yeah. rescue ace. No, he came 34th. Hey, that's some rescue ace Sorry, results. It's 35th. <laughs> so, no, no, well, the rescue no, ace no, in Australia no, came 35th playing rescue ace. In a room of 100 people. Do not pick up that fucking deck. It, it's bad. A YCS champion he probably couldn't looked at even it like, like to top 16. Yeah, that's, he probably looked at it like, oh, it's kind of like Sky Striker. It's, it's a bunch of back rows, just one monster. But, you can't li- no, it's, but it's Sky Striker like, also state. sucks in this format. It's not one monster. It is. No, it's not. It oh, is. Heaps. No, no, the other ones, yeah. They, but they're no, bad. You just no, want no, no, the big they, one. Jake, 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 that's not how that works. You see, it only works if you control two. Oh, this is even worse than yeah. I <laughs> yeah, so, so they all special themselves, except for Fire Hydrant Man. So you can like use the special art at Fire Hydrant Man. Or I think if you summon one while Fire Hydrant's in your hand, it summons out, and yeah, that kind of shenanigans happens. Yeah. But Fire Hydrant only protects everything if you control another one. So you want to go Fire Hydrant and the big boy, the Chaos one. Yeah, so set four from deck, and then Fire Hydrant lets you activate them the turn you set them. It's so fucking tragic. All of these archetypes are fucking bad, I'm sorry. No, not bad. They are. Rescue Ace is bad. That's Rescue mine. Ace needs extra deck monsters. Um, the, the fairy, the fairy Eevees are doing something in OCG as well, but that's well, obviously Nothing splashed. in Rescue Ace locks you to Rescue Ace, does it? I don't think so. I would fucking no. Just really yeah, shit. all the archetypes in this um in this pack as well just don't have restrictions. You can make the Weller. Their biggest restriction is that their archetypes are very bad. It's and I don't mind the concepts. It's just yeah, when you have when you've absolutely nailed the other two archetypes. So here's the thing that like they've not locked, but they are, and I'll explain why. So Mikunko is ritual, but not. Um, it's all to do with um. Equips. Equips and stuff. It's not ritual. The main monster is a ritual monster. Yeah. It just makes it searchable. And then you have equip cards. Mm. Equip cards target and are generically slow. Yeah. It's a quick play. Though it's a normal spell that you have to activate twice effectively. Well, it could be a trap that you have to activate to equip twenty yeah, monsters. The, three. Yeah. Three. The trap decks are fine. The though. activate twice is the is the rough bit where you could you, where getting that triple P pop is definitely something that that deck. I mean. Shh. That doesn't work like that. It misses timing. <laughs> uh, secondly, you have fire hydrants that, as you said, need two of to do anything on the board. And if you happen to need, remove the monsters before two, the background... It needs two to protect itself. Yeah, so... And that's the thing. If you don't have two, then you're up shit creek. But you summon it, and they activate any monster effect, then you start. You've just got to wait. Obviously, if they clear off everything and then activate monster effects, you're like, oh, well, I'll summon out my one guy. Yeah. And then finally, the Puri or Puri or whatever the fuck it's called, it doesn't lock in anything, it's generic. However, they have one monster. They have one main deck monster. And to do anything, you oh, need to hit so... the specific cards off the top of your deck to be able to do all the shenanigans. Like, don't get me wrong, if you hit the right cards, it can fucking go off. 
but yeah. it's so luck sucky so you can't afford to play anything other than the deck to hit the things you need the pearly rank 2 will get played in a lot of inspire good for them yeah. have you read the pearly rank 2 why the fuck would I read any pearly cards uh, it's a generic rank 2 negate I care not moving on uh, my week but, um, yeah, we'll, get, we'll get to your week yeah, so my week, uh, came second on Tuesday, uh, got to the finals with Andrew, got to game three, and just didn't see an out to the D fissure. That was, that was the main thing. Like, the rest of the board I didn't have a problem with. Um, I had an imperm set in the D fissure column, but he had the cosmic for the set imperm, mm. um, and yeah, just didn't see the spell trap removal, of which I think I cited in seven possible cards, plus the eight in the, um the main deck heartbeat um oh, yeah. and then today now four man locals uh first a kind of mirror against you and one he didn't first. have the he didn't have the ritual though it changes the whole deck i don't mean yeah now he has the ritual because ben pulled it it was just i can't believe no one it, no one in the state listed it for sale it's wild it's like my mills against you are shocking yeah they weren't great what do you do? Because those would just be... You take out the cards that aren't too relevant so you hit them more often. No, the no straight out, the cards I was milling were were my replacers of bestials, so I just would have been milling bestials. I mean, I would have enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, against you, um, I just had... You had gas game one and three. Yeah. Gas, gas, gas. Oh, and I was like, life. damn... I didn't draw any of my redacteds. Yeah, those. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't even pay attention today. Fuck. Yeah, congratulations to whoever won Penrith. Uh, we don't know who you are because whoever uploaded oh, the photo... Oh, we do know exactly who it is uh, because he told us in another thing. Uh, Andy Liu. Oh. Yeah. Moving on. Um, is he playing whatever that was called yesterday? The was So he was playing tier, cash tier, yeah? That's what he was playing in camera. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. I, I'm not it's sure if it's tier element. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's cash tier element or if it's just cash, because it was described as seven something rather. Terra seven. Terra seven. Oh, yeah. seven. Yeah. Hmm. What does that mean? The rank. Oh, seven. maybe he. Maybe he got dyslexic and he meant tier seven. Yeah, that tier seven could be it. Could be. Anyway, uh, so moving on to some news. Uh, so we start with Master Duel. Uh, the uh, theme chronicle is underway. Jake, I'm playing it. <gasps> I've already finished it. What, finish finished or just finish where the gems are? Finish where the gems are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gem Knight FTK is just fully legal. Every single card is legal and it's ultra consistent against other decks that can't kill you either. They like in them force break with some monsters and I'm like, ha 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 ha, game. <laughs> so, the. I think the thing that would probably hurt other decks most is particularly, like, I've seen a bunch of posts going around as well. It's like, oh, Crusader is like the most budget deck around and yeah, just OTKs. So, a couple of things wrong with that. One, against your deck, it does fuck all, because they're like, oh, you can go first. Mm-hmm. And you're like, huh, you're dead. <laughs> <Game>. uh, <laughs> and the thing is, if anyone makes you go first against Crusadia, you pass on an empty board, mm. and they can't do anything. Because they cannot, cannot put enough damage on board. Oh. Okay. So, if anyone makes you go first, and you're not playing Gemini FTK, put nothing on the board. If you set one pass, is it the same? Yeah, because they can card you. Oh. So you put nothing on the board and they cannot put enough damage on board. Yeah. Because they, yeah, they would kaiju you into the zone that they're at yeah. max points yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you literally just pass on an empty board. They, like, they punch you for a lot. Like, at best, I think I've taken 74 damage. Yeah. But then at least we 600 to OTK them with. Yeah. Or. It's Megamorph Band. Let's kill them. Just kill them with just yeah, but FTK. I don't have fun just with that. Just go to their house. I don't like to do that. It's not engaging. FTK is really fun to play because it challenges your mind. No, it doesn't. No, it genuinely does. Where like there is no predetermined FTK route. You've just got to kind of play with your hand and see what happens. Go play with yourself. Yep. <laughs> Today I got imperm nibbed and still FTK, and I was like, oh, I got that. I didn't even know nibble was legal to be honest because I'm also playing. I've nib. not had anyone drop it on me. Nib is a light rock, so I can. It's a combo piece, just oh, a straight combo yeah. piece. I can use it for Seraph Knight, or I can use it for the other rock guy. Yeah. Uh, so for everyone that was curious, I'm playing Mech Knight August. Uh, it's quite fun. I know, it's shocking. I uh, lost to Magispectors. 
I've been losing to some stupid decks too. It um, wasn't because it was good. Mm -hmm. It was because I bricked and needed my normal summon to stay on the board, and it was like banish, and I was like, mm. "Yep, good work." <laughs> That's how it goes with them. So um, the biggest <laughs> issue I've found with the deck that I'm running is like Scrap Raptor just seems to be the biggest imper magnet of my life. Anytime I summon Scrap Raptor, they have imper. So I've lost to Sue Ships <laughs> because hey. I've just passed on a Scrap Raptor. You don't respect the Sue Ships. <laughs> no, you don't. Because they didn't even win with the Sue Ship cards. They just summoned Utopia yeah. Double and yep. punched me in the face. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Yeah. It's Time Thief. Pass. He's like, oh, God, no. Now you're going to steal my traps. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've found it really fun. It's probably the most fun one that they've had so far because all of the cringy archetypes that generally sneak into this just don't seem to be a thing. Like I, I did beat a suicide deck. Beat a self-50k. Su and, yeah, yeah. I th if they sell 50k successfully, did you win or did you lose? You both won. I guess. <laughs> It's the best possible draw. It wasn't even a good self FTK. Was it just like your light spawn deck FTK? No, they just milled so, themselves out, or so he activated Karibons, which and I think it was Karibons, the Karibo card that you take two K damage but don't take any damage for the rest of the turn. Oh, oh no, so, Karibom is it? Yeah, so I got hit with that, and I was like, well, I can't FTK you, and then he literally just went normal summon, attack, did like two thousand damage to himself, and then activated a bunch of self burn cards, and I was like. What was the point of this? You could just let me kill you on the first turn. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like there's a really flawed logic when people go in with self fifty k. Are there bots? I mean, that would be the only way that it makes sense. Yeah, cause... that would have made sense in this duel. Yeah, I could mean every time I've got self fifty k, I assume it's a bot program to do it just to grind out. Yeah, that would be the only way it makes sense because like you can build just as effectively to do a win as you could to do a loss yeah and the wins because the way that they changed it when the self 50 ks were first prevalent on master duel the win rate is a lot higher now than it is to lose like it's 500 medals to win and 50 if you lose yeah so time wise it would only make sense if you just had a program doing it for you yeah yeah i wonder how difficult it would be just to program software just to go intern and then join a match again. Yeah, turn. just yeah, just let it, like yeah, don't even burn yourself. But then you get locked into a thing where it's Crusadia, and they think that you're also playing Crusadia, and they can't kill you, and they pass turn. Oh, is that happening? <laughs> Imagine, no, no, no. I'm just. Oh my I'm god. Just, I'm just like. So thinking, there, there you go. If you yeah, you can. If you don't have anything and you're going first, pass. But if that happens to you, just pass back. They can't kill you back either. Yeah. If you feel that you're in a Crusadia mirror match, end phase match. Treat it like spiral mirror. Yeah. No one play anything until you know you can kill them. Until you've got more than one cherries. <laughs> if you cherries, 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 you've lost because you've activated cherries when your opponent got oh. monsters. You've just lost. Oh no. no! 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 I've I've solved the Crusadia mirror, everybody. Uh, you play Silent Wobby. You give them a card. You cherries them, and then you can't do the Silent Wobby, and then you can kill them. Doesn't Silent Wobby go to your field first, though? And no. then it switches? No, no, no. Silent Wobby just... Goes to their field. Sorry. Careful, it's slapping the table. <laughs> um, this is the first real test of the new mic, the red mic. The welcome, weird mic. Welcome to red mic. Yeah, this is our red mic days now. There's a mic there? Haha, -ha, red, green, cold efficient joke. Ah, <laughs> he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are fucked. Um, okay, uh... What else happened in Master Duel? I don't know if we talked about mutant solo mode. Yeah. There's a mutant solo mode. Uh, Frag field. did that. Yeah, we, we did it. The video will be up on the channel. Oh, I reckon this week I'll get around to it. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, it, it was riddled with spelling errors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just so many translation issues. A lot of a lot of this video is going to be me going, yeah, try, I, I'll get done with the error and go, hold on, am I comprehending this law properly? <laughs> yeah, all right. Definitely, we definitely did talk about this last week because yeah. I remember us mentioning that mutants aren't mutants, they're aliens. Uh, aliens. Oh, yeah, I, I even listened to it, yeah. <laughs> Shows how much attention we've made. Around. Yeah, I listened to it because I'm doing the time codes. Oh, yeah, if any highlights come up, any comment, if you just time code it on the, in the comments and go, 
Oh yeah, that, that was uh, that was shit. You're an idiot. Perfect. <laughs> um, also, the current battle pass expires uh, on the twenty seventh. Oh god, yeah, yeah. It was uh, about yeah, it was, like ninety seven level. See, it was seven days from Friday. I was about to, and I'm like, I got plenty of time. And then the whole weekend's gone. Time. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll finish it. You've Jeez. got Australia Day to do it. Yeah, true. Twenty sixth. Yeah. Thursday. Oh, yeah, so nice. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got that. Um, it'll be interesting to see what we get for our next one, what little mate and stuff we get. Public Declaration, Book of Eclipse. Book, what? Book of Eclipse? That's weird. You got Book of Moon? Yeah, but Book of Moon wasn't a... It's a mate. But it wasn't yeah. a mate we won from the thing, yeah? No. Oh, well, what if it's lonely? Don't they like... I don't know, like doing cute ones. Also, the, the mutant field's great because you get this. The yeah, second I noticed thing. that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. get the extra stuff off to the side. It's like you get a second mate. two buddies, mates, whatever. I mean, all of them have the thing that you can engage. In the ghost trick one, you get some ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, but this one's like, it just actually is there. He's just chilling. Yeah, the ghosts are actually there. You can see the ghosts, which goes against you can the law of ghosts. Yeah, I, the mutants. I can't see ghost day. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you need to get checked out. <laughs> Uh, but no, it is it is a nice field as well, and it's um, a little bit more animated than some of the previous ones because, like, once you go into two thousand or less life points, it all flashes red because it's in meltdown. <laughs> so and the cracks current... open, and then all the mo- the mutants summon your field, and you're like, yes. No, so when <laughs> when you or the opponent dies in the mutant field, mm-hmm. the mutant breaks out of its little glass in- enclosure, and, goes, and it just goes <laughs> explodes. It doesn't show it exploding, it just shows it shooting off. Yeah. Because oh. that would be too violent to show mutants exploding. Should be tentacles going everywhere, fucking out your screen and your nose. In your commit butt. commit to it, then, I mean. In the butt. <laughs> he took it to the butt, I just took it to the nose. Don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> so, don't put it into that have we passed the year the year anniversary at this point? Ye- nearly. No, end of the month. So... I wonder if they'll play into I going, think oh, we're going to get 500 gems after Australia Day. Yeah, there will, it came out there's in almost definitely an yeah. annual... Because they, they're big on that in Duel Links of their yearly anniversaries giving out stuff. 500 gems. I wonder if the, the next Duel Pass will then lean into that too, where it's oh, a year celebration. Like, and here's a The wise mate? Yeah, like a, an OG sort the of mate. aren't cool. Hmm? The big mates aren't cool. No, I've said this before. Also, Totally Awesome's kind of lame. Yeah, the thing that gets me with Totally Awesome, I don't mind, like, the animations and stuff, but the eyes are dead. Yeah. It, it has it, dead eyes. It is so <laughs> I mean, it is a toad. Like, a toad does have those type of eyes. <gasps> but not on the card art. On the card art, it's its totally eyes are great. full of life and wonder. No way! Yeah, on the card art, yeah, he's delightful. <laughs> I think they're reading into this. I reckon it's just the lighting. I think he's got dead eyes. No, no. Those eyes give me inspiration. Fl- flat Maybe one day flat toad will in two D card art, full of life. Three D toad in animation, dead. I think I'm saying they're both dead. Let us know. Fan uh, arts of uh, uh, fan arts of totally awesome with like cutest eyes. Yes. If any of you make it do uwu, I'll stab you. Yes, uwus, uwus, totally awesome. Is the top one doing uwu or the bottom one? Both. It'd be the top one because the bottom one's arms are top engaged. Top's uwu, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I was the that was, that was uh, your expertise in the field. Expertly set up. <laughs> uh, yes, Nails. scripted comedy. Uh, moving on from Master Duel, we uh, touch uh, quickly on the OCG metagame, which is fucked. Um, so, despite the ban list having quote unquote torn tier element apart, when it you, is when you still. Look at the ban list, it has not. It's the dumbest fucking way to hit that deck. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's really not addressed it. The only good thing is hitting Kick Callus, but it justifies nothing. It fixes nothing. Because, yeah, they, the King of the Swamp is already... Like, at this moment, like, King of the Swamp still like is a good option. Like, if I saw King of the Swamp in a topping deck list, I'll go, yeah, well, they that all, makes all sense. Well, they They just play three King of the Swamp now. Yeah, that's yeah, it. You just play it. three King of the Swamp. Yeah. It means you can play Window. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also... What does that have to do with Window? Well, you can also make Window. So you recall us on your turn, you Window on their turn. What's the shoot does King of the Swamp have to do? It makes the shoot all, doesn't it? No, it has to be a named, named. fusion monster. Ah, oh, that's fine then. What's yeah, he thinking of though? There's, there's some. It makes um, it makes graph a fusion. 
Yeah, you can yeah. play the Dark World Fusion. Um, you could make uh, Kaliga. I swear there's one that makes King of the Swamp, is there not? Uh, make, one that makes... Is it Hexseal makes? Yeah, Hex probably does. No. Unless there's a Dark Hexseal. I mean, no, that right. doesn't even do it either. You could play... Um, I can't remember what its name is. The water... Um, no. Anyway, doesn't matter. I was like, I swear there's one of those subcards that make it... Oh, well. No. Uh, so, um, in the most recent Road of the Kings uh, metagame breakdown, we yep. have two men at 35 and a bit percent. Yeah. Uh, next up is Sprite Tri Brigade. Would you like to guess the percentage of Sprite? 8.9. 7.6. 11.4. Oh, wow. So it's a little better than... So, yeah, it's still a, not I, great. Others are 7.6. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> next highest is Ad Emancipator at 4.3. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Uh, then Bestial, same percentage. Labyrinth, same percentage. Purely, same percentage. And Other at 35.7. Because Purely, so they've got... Other and Tier Element. So uh, all other, the bullshit. I just and, over one of six. Yeah, yeah. So even so two, two Purely topped. And seems event. that way. Well, this uh, is a, col- a collation of like heaps tops. of events. Yes. A, yes. So two people yeah, gotcha. have topped events. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, they've got more cards as well. I'm pretty sure from. Really? Yeah. There's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think they got some more in Photon Harpenova. Which. Oh wait, isn't that the next one for us? Yes. It's like three weeks away. Three weeks. What do you know? What the new Minkunko does? If it does anything? Oh God, no. <laughs> what I know Rescue Ace. Does it also go... <laughs> and come 35th? <laughs> it does indeed come. Yeah. Children. 35th. I'm, I'm working with fucking children. Um, but yeah, it does address the issue that their ban list was ineffectual and it really hasn't addressed the but, top deck. Like, it's worse than previous ones where, like, oh, they've just pivoted to a slightly different strategy, the boards are a little bit weaker. It's no, three it's exactly cards the same. In. Yeah, um, so... One of the biggest things that I... Once I've now looked back in retrospect at the OCG ban lists, they just hit the wrong stuff in the main deck. Like, so they, they like, put all the Ashizu cards to one. But they put the bad Ashizu cards to one. Mm. They put Mudora and Negito to one. Yeah, literally the worst. In the TCG, we're literally just playing one Aguido anyway. And Medora is not the Searcher. <laughs> but. Hand Trap and Searcher are three. I mean, if they don't hit Aguido, then Aguido will just be start being played at three, right? That's good enough. But the other one's a Hand Trap. Yeah, Aguido is. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Aguido. Like, getting the free rank four on board is mm. great, but then it's like dead in a mirror. But, yeah, in terms of the ones you hit, Kelbeck being a Hand Trap as well as a Miller. 100% has to hit, and um, Kel, though, being able to search Kelbeck and Origido and or Medora. Yeah, surely you hit do. those two, the other two stay it. Surely it should be 1-1-2-2. One, one, two, two. Uh, I think it should be 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. <laughs> yeah, and one or all of them seems completely fair. If she's yeah. only needed one, we only need one. I think... So, do we see... Them actually justifiably ban every Tier Element monster? If it keeps going the or way it ban is. ban King of the Swamp? I don't know. I think... Because... His... Here's the thing. There's no standout deck at the moment that's upcoming that effectively takes the spot of Tier Element. Yeah. Like, Cash Tier was... Um, and then they hit Cash Hero as well. Yeah, so Cash has been addressed. But, and I think the issue is because they're both from the same law line and there's crossovers of both, you could just put Cash Hero into tier elements. So it ended up being like a zoo of types. Hmm. It's it's more specifically that one card that is Cash Hero tier element. Yeah, that's what I mean. Card is fucking dumb. Why that exists? Don't know. And that, like I said, there's just nothing upcoming that seems to take the place of like the next best deck for people to buy into product. But at the same time, like, do we just end up with a dead format for a little while where all the best decks are dead and just all these rogue random stuff, like, purely yes. and, like, Ooh, invoke just comes happened. back in there for I a think, while. I think it's full well what was intended. Yeah. But it's that's, not what we've ended up at. And that's the thing. So, I mean, the fact that we're talking about... I mean, so even with Rescue Ace, oh, this, uh, this card that uh, you free summon when your opponent activates an effect and then you can turn that into, a, like, a plus four, um, and that's... 
piece of shit trash that can be easily countered. That's actually quite a broken combo in retrospect of the game. Some of the uh, like the fact that all these don't have um, like yeah, hard lock stuff is just so weird. They they're good cards, but just tier is better. Yep. Sprite is better. Targeting in general is better. It yeah it's lower the ce- like we're coming to a low lower the ceiling point. Where the decks, we're going to be starting playing trash decks. And it's going to feel bad because we felt like we used to do more. But, yeah. The other question it brings up is, do you think that the TCG learns lessons from this when they come time to no. smack tier down? But they're not hitting tier, let's be honest. We need a good TCG you don't they're hitting it at all. I, no, I think they had a chip it but i don't see the stuff that needs to be done oh look yeah like 100 percent this ban list i don't think they're gonna like take the beating stick out to tier element with yeah. like a huge amount Which of is depressing as fuck because we're gonna just see more tier element well, i mean who was it josh it was someone someone was saying going, oh, i won't pick up tier element until the ban list like, there's no point the first round of hits it's still gonna be a great deck just yeah. pick up the cards and cop the extra merlies like they will legitimately have to like nuke it for it to be not played anymore. Yeah, I guess it's been... I mean, since August last year, you can nearly just go after those those fusion summoners. The deck's really not that expensive at all. The biggest expense of the deck used to be the Triple Ps, and they're down to, like, maybe $40, $50 a copy which now, I instead of the 110 that they were. Which I wouldn't even hit. Like, it's Triple P. It's... Well, the OCG, they brought it to one. Which... Eh, who cares? You got to you got to deal with the fusion the fusions before that. Let the consistency stay and go. All right, you get your one Shiren. Now what? Or you can't get Shiren because we banned the bastard. You could probably ban Shiren. Well, this is the thing that Ben and I were discussing before: is that effectively, if you want tier not to be a thing anymore, you have to get rid of everything. Yep. If you ban Shiren, limit Havness, limit Merly. There's still monsters that can activate. And obviously, ignoring the issues of stuff. Which I think should be limited at this point too, because there's just no... no there's no place they reprint it. They've sold that product. Fucking, let's do it. There's no way they also reprint that product, because of those sleeves. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're never reprinting that. Uh, mm. Just a flyby, they don't really have a reason. Like, Ishizu really just lives and breathes in this format. Yeah. There's no other time where you can go, oh yeah, I can play Earth Fairies. But yeah, so they can go hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's that legitimately that the fun the fundamental fact that these cards exist limit Earth Fairies from ever being able to have good cards printed ever again. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, like on that, I mean, if they do do a ban Shire and limit the rest, limit the shufflers, it's still the best deck, but it's it's kneecapped a little. Uh, I think. That's probably the way they go. They may well just limit literally everything. Yeah. And then be like, you've got everything at one for a format, and then we're going to start killing some stuff. And even then, it still be good, because cash to your elements is just going to come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think yeah, they'll definitely go that hard, but I wonder how... I mean, yeah, this is, we're going to be playing tier for the next six months. Three months. I don't regret selling my tier. I just don't want to play against tier anymore. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, I, really, I really enjoy it. I'm keen for the. I'm keen to see people's interpretations on like ta- where oh you've removed uh, eight cards from their deck. What replaces it? It's going to be more broken shit, no doubt. But I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Nicker main kings for the mirror. Potentially. <laughs> if only it's thought again. I'm going to say it. If only it negated the chain. <laughs> How broken a card do you want? Fuck me. It just says end the turn. It should just, like, negate the chain. It should activate, and then nothing else can activate. And it just goes, turn over. Done. Because everything else happens in end phase now, yeah? Wasn't that the rule? Yeah, it moves yeah. phase, but doesn't stop doesn't stop effects. the triggers, yeah. Yeah. It should just negate everything. Not your opponent, no cards, rest turn. Bye. It, it should, I mean, because like, it says goes to end phase, yeah? Yeah. Fuck. Because if it said end the turn here, the so then... The original text says end the turn, the new text says end phase. Because it should be end the turn, and then you do everything at the end in your opponent's draw phase. And so then, <laughs> so then, you'd, use the, then you'd use the effects for next turn. That's fair. <laughs> opponent draws for No, but they still triggered in main phase one, because it goes chain link one, neko main king, mm-hmm. 
and then all the other ones trigger before that. Yep. So that it moves to the end phase, and then if you, like, say you've summoned a kick Carlos. Oh, sorry, I thought he was looking for Neko Man King and Chainlink forward negating the rest the of the chain. Game. Nothing should be able to activate. Sorry, I was thinking of it going backwards. It should just go that. Boop, turn yeah. over. Your opponent cannot activate cards in response. Then we need a new Neko Man King. This is the position that Tyr Elements put us in, in, in that we need ridiculous responses. And Neko Man King 2 is not that ridiculous. I. If obviously triple P we said is expensive, just try uh, try out tier a little bit. I'm telling you, it's it can be fun. It's it's fun to play. It is fun to play. The people, the people that are like hating on it because it's the best deck, shut up. <laughs> like well, you see, there's a, yeah, but that's the thing. He played it, and that wasn't his play style. The, like that's no, fine. No, it wasn't necessarily my play style. I just looked at it and was like, man, I could play something else and get money for this. <laughs> yeah. I just... And the best stuff, too. It's just... There's a lot of love in it, and I think it's getting a lot of hate. And I hope that we look back on this format in a few years and go, oh, yeah, that was kind of cool. Like, we all kind of look back on Zodiac with reverence a little bit. There's, yeah. a, there's a bunch of people that don't. But Zodiac wasn't a gambling format. Terrell Element is a gamble format. Where, yes, you're both playing... You could be playing identical lists, mm. and it simply comes down to variance on the flips, on the mills, as to who wins. Well, I mean, I'm a degenerate, like, so... The better player... <laughs> oh, gambling? Win. Yes! <laughs> like, yes, so, yes, good players will win with relevant, mm. but the better player will not always win. Mm. And that's okay, and I like those odds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's next in our news stories? Even as it, was that even a news story? Oh, we'll talk about it. Yeah, I mean, that was OCG. Yeah, yeah. It was OCG. Um, there's really not a lot of news at the moment. Uh, Jake, you forgot about Magician of Faith 2. Well, no, that, I was literally just about to say Harpin Nova, what's the Starlight reprint? We don't, we don't know. Yet. know. No, but the same. Well, it's just fucking. Let's guess the last oh. oh, well, it's Photon Hyper Nova, so it'll be Galactiaz. Oh, my God. He's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh my lord. Well, it's either Galaxy Eyes or a Galaxy Eyes adjacent card. Starlight. Uh, Starlight Photon Thrasher. Galaxy Eyes. Photon Thrasher. For ABC format? Yeah, Starlight. <laughs> <laughs> Give the ABC people what they've been begging, which they have. It has an ulti, doesn't it? It does. More importantly, what do we think will be the, just the general Starlights of that set? Like, I don't know enough what's in that set. Well, you've got all the new Kashira stuff. Talents. Oh, yep. yep. Oh, Kashira yeah. to Element. Yep. <laughs> talents. Or is it tactics? Or is it triple? Uh, I think it's just tactics talents, isn't it? I thought it's one of the words. Isn't it triple tactics? Or is or it, it tactics, tactics talents? talents? I think it's or tactics it talents. talents tactic. Double T and triple T. Triple talent? Anyway, I need... Stop. <laughs> um, I did see something interesting the other day um, that I suppose counts against tier slash uh, cash tier to some extent. Um, because in normal triple tactics, you need it to act the monster effect to activate in the main phase. Uh, the new tactics talent just needs your opponent to activate the monster effect. So for um, cash Tira, if they trigger Shangri Era to summon a thing, mm -hmm. tactics is live. Mm -hmm. And in elements, if you have Retour or Abyss Dweller, it's live. Yes. And they have monsters on the board, so the normal trap that you can add would be evenly matched. Yes. However, Jake, I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> Insane proclamation. Two of the Starlights will have boobs. Yes. Well, we're nearly out of boobs, yeah? No, uh, there's plenty of boobs to reprint. Not reprint, just print in Starlight. Such as? I don't know. I'm sure there's... There's Cash Tier or Tier Element. There's a hundred cards in Wait, does Cash Tier or Tier Element have Booba? No, that's what I'm saying. It's oh. not a Booba. Yeah, I was saying, I, I'm like, there's I don't remember Booba. There's a hundred cards in the set. I'm sure there is something. T I don't the know. TCG exclusive that they don't bump up to Starlight. If they do that again for something as garbage as the last one, I'll be so angry. What was they the... bumped the TCG that, exclusive to Starlight? That Fusion Pendulum. Oh, that was worth it. No, it wasn't. That was worth that it. That card was bad. No, I don't know, Jake. Maybe you're just not playing it right. I'm not playing it at all! I can't <laughs> shit! That's fucking terrible! It's an instant fusion pendulum. What does that do for you? You've instant fusion to pendulum. You can make electromite. Wait, because... Hang on, how would it work? Because... So, it's a fusion and a pendulum, 
Correct. So is it going by the fusion rule that you can summon it anywhere, or does it go by the pendulum rule that you have to summon it to the extra monster zone? It's, you can't be legally summoned. What? No judge is ballsy enough to make that ruling, so you just can't legally <laughs> summon it. Oh, you summoned this card, you're bad. <laughs> yeah, isn't, it only, Thank you. isn't it only from face-up extra deck? I don't know, that's why I'm asking the question. I'm pretty sure it's only face-up extra also, deck. Also, no one's ever playing that card, so I don't give a fuck. It'd be funny, though, if, like, you activate the instant fusion, you go to summon it, and, like, a judge is just staring at you. And if you play it in the oh, wrong fucking zone, you're going to put it... It just becomes the IP versus Rupalos ruling at every event. Oh. Judge, um, where, does, where do I have to summon my terrible pendulum fusion? Summon it, I'll, and you'll find I'll, it. I'll, I'll declare it when you summon it. <laughs> <laughs> who, um, who, who looked it out of, like, going, oh, that ruling won't come up, the IP rule one, and then it came up in bloody uh, Leo's match. It came up so much. Yeah, it's like, a, a lot of people playing IP still, mate. Yeah, someone tried to have that take. It's like, yeah. I thought about it, one, funnily enough, in the car towards locals today, and I kind of understand the logic against it now, and it's this, in that Rook can't stop inherent summons, mm. and IP's effect is effectively to conduct a link summon, which is considered a uh, summon that doesn't start a chain for the judges watching. Fucking hypersonic, hope you're happy. Um, Can you Rook double summon? No, because it doesn't start a special summon. Rook only stops effects that would special summon. But normal summoning a, special, a second time is pretty special. <laughs> Tell that to every Flunderies player that's just like, <laughs> double, 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 double. I guess you can't have both... Uh, you, you can't have both the Rook ruling and the... Well, having the Rook ruling overturned and the Goddess of the Underworld ruling, right? Because remember, like, we had that argument Goddess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, it's the same sort of deal. Yeah. So, I understand the logic for either side now, um, but, yeah, the fact that there is even a logic for both sides and it's not just that the TCG is gone, this is how it works, is dumb. Like, they need to be more OTG-like and document that this is how an effect works at this time and then this is now the ruling that you refer to forevermore. We should just play OCG. But one out of five judges are idiots. Yes, mm. none out of ten dentists recommend. Not using the judge? Yes. I only know five and two of them are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I know who one of them is. <laughs> Next news story. Yes, Nick. so the news story that you referred to before, we do have an upcoming uh, jump promo, uh, which is in the OCG um, called the Sacred Magician, uh, but in terms of its uh, translation or localization, it's uh, going to be one of three possible names, uh, which would be the Greater Magician of Faith, the Magician of Greater Faith, or the Magician of Faithfulness. Oh. I think he was going to say the Magician of Faith, Faith, Faith. <laughs> the magician Triple of faith, faith or Faith? Triple, triple Faith. Faith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we don't have an effect reveal for that, but I, it's a level 5 and looks exactly the same. It's a level theory. 5? It's a level yeah, 5, yeah. yeah. It that is. will literally never be played. Oh, absolutely not. But the main thing that you can draw from it is that its effect will be flip, add two spell cards back from your graveyard to your hand. Yes. If you had a card that just sets a, any monster from deck, like there a... Are better cards you could set. Yeah. But would that like be fine? Like Crawler Axe you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Crawlers... Uh, do Crawlers become broken if you have, like, an, un not. an unexpected die to just set cards? Set two cards. Set two cards? Yeah, link set two monsters. monsters. The fact that crawlers can't link with face down monsters is yeah. Like, like how how far do we how far do we have to go to break it? Should be able, the crawler link monsters should be link some with face downs. They were brought out at the very start of links. I didn't think they wanted to bring out a link that, that could use face down immediately. I don't see a problem. Like either. Ghost Trick have one and it has zero attack. Yeah, that's fine. How much defense? Shut up. Ah, uh, <laughs> link one. <laughs> So how about the same thing, unexpected die by three set cards from deck? Monsters. That is broken, because then you just tribute them for something good. How long until we get an unexpected die that's, that's too That's all you want it for! <laughs> you just want to be able to summon Ra! <laughs> no, I'm setting all level six monsters to tribute for my oh. rituals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then we... I mean, Vendre right. got a, um, a card that does that effectively. You should have stopped that One. sentence at Vendred got a. So this is what's missing from the format is a, TC a broken TCG archetype. 
We haven't had that in a long time. Yeah, it's just we need it. We beg for it. But what about goodies that Cause, got? Because Shadows did this very similar thing. And we, but we had BA to just kind of correct it. But, yeah. And <laughs> what was the other... There was an exclusive card running around it. for something. <laughs> yeah. It... We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get a broken TCG archetype eventually. I oh, feel- actually, speaking of which, we still don't know what our TCG exclusive archetype will be for Photon. We, we know the blurb, but... Do we know the blurb? Yeah, the, the blurb was like... And it, was, it was lame, from what I remember. Yeah, it's fine. We ignore it. No. It's gonna be shit. He always wants to ignore blurbs. Yeah. That's because it's the start of law. Mm-hmm. <laughs> blurbs are the gateway to law. <laughs> that... That uh, that Vengeance Lord, I'm telling Vengeance Lord, my god. My Wait, god. was there Vengeance Solo mode? Yeah. Oh my god. It's basically just the it. plot of um, Spawn. I thought you or say Resident Re- Evil. Yeah, I thought you were going to say Resident Evil, yeah. It's kind of both. Who does the flips through the hallway with the lasers? Uh, Mil- 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 Jov- isn't that Isn't that Resident Evil 2? Uh, no, 1. Oh. And then I think 3, and then maybe four and five as well yeah flips through lasers was like that dude's fetish did Vendry get like, I want my wife to do flips with lasers <laughs> uh did Vendry oh just secretly God. wanted a divorce and to claim a life insurance <laughs> at some point so he's like we're gonna stop in real lasers <laughs> uh saddle up Julius get ready for the run the most dangerous race ever devised by man that's a Jojo's reference Oh, I was thinking it was like a punt, like a, a horse racing reference. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Oh, it is. Oh, that no, Jojo's that is no, 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 no. That's the fucking TCG exclusive archetype. Remember the goal lace or whatever it was, the random light tuna that summoned itself and then summoned other shit. Remember? No. What? We've talked about it. It's I think the archetype is called like goal lace or something. Ah, oh, so we've already had. We got the first card announced, but we don't know any of the others. It's like destroy a monster you control, uh, special summon, and if it's normal special summon, summon another one from deck. But you're locked into the archetype, so it's already not going to compete against tier element. Yeah. So the the the, uh, the amazing amazing defenders good. decks are better than this. I need this archetype. If it's a horse racing archetype, I need it. Why? This is a JoJo's reference. Horse racing doesn't belong to JoJo's. Yes, it does. It doesn't. Yeah, yes, it really does. doesn't. <laughs> If, if if there is a claim that horse racing belongs to JoJo's, I will join every vegan and animal activist and like like hate on Melbourne Cup. For Not to the JoJo's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find anything with Gold Ace Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't remember what it's called. Well, well it's, it's Gold Ace. Yeah, yeah, the blurbs. Something. I got the blurbs done. But next, yeah, it's gonna be this is why you should listen to blurbs. Time. There's always a JoJo's reference waiting for you. There is. Oh, imagine how many JoJo's references he's missed out on. Yep, just from not paying attention to law. One must always pay attention to law. The mutant one was interesting until the guy like was given side eyes to that uh, that mutant. The guy trying to fuck a mutant. I reckon. Okay. That was that was a, a statement. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh. That's pretty. Um, okay, so we move on to our podcast questions. So uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. I'm um, just trying to find where our questions start. It uh, makes me so happy. that one last time. Uh, There's just so much cool stuff in there. And, like, yeah, like in the deck discussions as well, it's, it's nice like to go in and go, oh, yeah, some cool cats. Don't have to be there all the time, no pressure, but... I'm not doing a hap- photo hype over video. Not doing it. Why not? What? Did, what? Uh, I got asked to do a photo hype over video, and I was like... By who? It was in the Discord. Can we do it? Yeah, sure. I don't worry what about. are we doing on photo hype? Well, you're, you're doing something. You're doing what? something for photo hype over. Don't, don't. I ain't doing it. Would you do the JoJo's bit at least? <laughs> I'll build a JoJo's deck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so, our first question this week comes to us from Jesse. Uh, his question is... Uh, with the rise of interest of Tenny Sold Soul, do you think Konami would ever ban a fair and balanced deck just because it's popular and if everyone's enjoying it? Um, I know they have in the past, i.e. Salamangre. That deck was not fair or fun. No, that it was deck. not fair or balanced. In the, in the time that it was, it was not. Um, 
Uh, people look back fondly on toss format. If we ignore the need for Konami to have two print more cards, mm. uh, is it potentially why strikers are still around and getting support? Uh, so the reason the strikers are around and getting support is because they're women and people in this game fucking suck. Um, as for fair and fun decks, I can't really see them addressing anything with Sword Soul because it's one of the few things that does okay against tier element if it's built properly i thought the biggest i thought the biggest resurgence of sword style was it was in mavens like and since we all cracking mavens for the other shit that there was just heaps of sword style and oh. enough players were like oh this stuff was i can good. finally play this yeah i can finally play this i want to play this and they pick it up and take it and realize it doesn't suck i know have protoss oh well <laughs> it's gonna be a, a year since i yeah use protoss yeah hmm. i want protoss back now, to be fair, I don't want Protoss back. Yeah, I felt so bad Protossing people. Did you? I don't remember that tournament. I don't remember you right, apologising. No, 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 I'm saying I physically don't remember it. Yeah, like, I, got, I, I got mentally blocked. Fucking, we went to a regional five hours away and got home and the sun was still up. <laughs> so yeah, I don't remember you apologising to anyone when you claimed your second place at that regional. Yeah, I didn't. No. <laughs> Big thanks Did to it? Jake, though, for coming through and clutched. Because I played a guy that was playing in Invoked, and I was like, oh, yeah. I know exactly how to beat you. I'm sure you've gotten here because people don't know how to beat you. See? See? Easy dubs. People whinge about the decks that I play. Oh, Jake's always playing Invoked. Oh, Mech Knight is shit. But I've had multiple people say that they always play around Mech Knights now because of me. And then you and Lachlan are more prepared than anybody for Invoked mirrors or Invoked matches yeah. than they've ever been. Granted, Invoked is effectively dead in the ground because Bistuals exist. So mm, yes. you don't really need to be prepared for that matchup anymore. But playing around Mech Knights is always potential. Because someone at, someone at YCS faced Mech Knights. Yes. And also, playing around Mech Knights plays around Imper. Mm, yes. Also, they want to keep Soul Soul up at this um, performance rate to try and sell those reprints in Baron. True. But there are other Good decks point. coming out that... Uh, um, sort of synchro heavy mix, actually mix, yeah mix. The, the next um, iteration of the Visus line is a synchro deck and that uses Baron Jake why don't you have your three Visus Starfrost you don't need three. Oh, damn it's disappointing I do need three of the Link one though I don't like his haircut well I think we have a bunch of those just laying around do we? perfect I know it's rich coming from me but Visus haircut's a bit more <laughs> I mean his haircut is basically yours but black no, he's looking like a bowl cut. What? Doesn't he? We're not looking up Visa Star for a start. <laughs> yes. Law. <laughs> I need more questions. We'll get to your questions in a minute. Oh, uh, no, it's it's verging more on my haircut, just more aggressive. But it's like that. Yeah. Well, it's no. got like a bob. That's not a, a... Yeah, true. A bob is the correct way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Law accurate bob. Yeah. He's got Wait, that he's bob. Got a reprint? Oh, he's no, getting uh, his... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting in his... Uh, what do you call Squats? it? Squats? Stretch uh, those big VW uh, family movers, and he's going to pick up the kids because um, he's a good dad. We maybe did that question last week, and maybe I skipped it because it was too wordy. Because I'm now reading the token question. Uh, but anyway, next question comes to us from Mira. Um, question is: Since we didn't get our mid YCS ban list, do you think we now won't get one until after Photon Hope and Iver? There, yeah. Photon. No Hopenover. sooner than March first effective date. Yeah. March 1st is the effective date for the next ban list. And if it's not, I'll eat a finely cooked chicken. He's got... Yeah. That doesn't seem like a punishment at all. No, he's not eating his uh, pink chicken. They're not eating pink chicken. No, no, but if you're wrong, you should be on a rant. So no, pink chicken. Not. Pink chicken rant. I will have a finely cooked chicken. Uh, but anyway, I uh, detest and reject <laughs> that notion. I believe it'll be within two weeks either side of Photon Hope and Hope. Now, why can't I say this set name? Jake, what's two weeks after Photon Hope and Over? When does Ho Ben being right? That's two weeks after. No that. way! Isn't Photon Hope and Over it's the first way week? sooner than what you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah, it comes out like the fifth, sixth. It's only a leap month. Yeah. Leap month. It's February. Yeah, I'm still. Days. 14 days after the 6th, days. which is 22nd. Banlist comes That's... out then, effective date March 1st. Bang on. Does Raven Dread Slayer run like the running zombies are 28 days later? He's not a zombie. What? Raven Dread? Yeah. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. He is. No, he's not. Did you do the law line? Yes. <laughs> he is absolutely a zombie. Uh, he's wearing a mech suit. 
That's not a mech suit! Yes, it is. It isn't! Yes, it is. You're wrong! It is. It's, it's Konami confirmed! You are just wrong! He's, anyway. It's his penetrators, isn't it? Don't say that word to me ever again. <laughs> uh, so, okay, yeah, there's some, de- <laughs> there's some debate as to whether um, we believe the ban list to be out sooner rather than later. I think they'll want to address something sooner. Well, I think um, Dave's wrong. Yeah. Um, historically, I've been more correct on the ban list than Ben. <laughs> <laughs> in the last... Oh, no, in the last... Was, I'm the champion of the last ban list. Oh, oh, you may have got the right predictions, but as to when it was released, you were three months off. No, it wasn't. You were. It released well, the on last Christmas. One. It didn't. Yes, it did. Jokes aside, it did not release on Christmas. Yes, it did. It didn't. Yes, it did. You're wrong. Wait, didn't it? On what? law and release, I am correct. But that wasn't the Christmas ban list the one, not even the last ban list? It was the second last, wasn't it? No, it was the last ban list. Oh, I thought the Christmas ban list... There's been two ban lists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, the one that Jake, wasn't Jake on Christmas and the one that was much closer to Christmas. Yes. Yes, yeah, it was all right. The Christmas ban list wasn't the last ban list. Because Christmas was in September. Oh, you mean joke Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas isn't a joke. People died for that day for you, Jake. Just one. Did they? No, they didn't. That's Easter. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Anyway. You can't keep I mean, track of everyone back I had at home, point, I guess. I had a point to say, but I forgot what it was. I'm good. The bank oh, no, no, no. in that stable came from somewhere. So, wild accusation. What if Konami just doesn't release a ban list for like the next six months? <laughs> Releases a fucking nuclear bomb. I mean, like maybe. They may. If we come around to like June first, and they're like, "Hi guys, we banned everything." Okay, so no ban list. How do you fit the cash tier tier element stuff into tier element? The deck's you don't full. Need to. You just make the deck bigger. No, you don't. Yeah, like if they do, like that generally makes this game harder. If they just don't, if they leave everything alone. I feel like Bragg's just trying to bait them into not touching any decks so that he yeah, can just, what just play whatever. No, no, I'm, I'm keen for the ban list so I have fucking room. <laughs> I want to tell me what to cut, can I mean? <laughs> Our next question comes to us from Crobat5. Uh, Crobat5! <laughs> for some reason that joke will never not be funny. Yeah. Uh, seeing as how Konami over the last few months has printed some amazing decks that will have changed the format, Will they unban cards soon to make older decks that were format changing playable again? He's looking at Master Plan. Stop looking at Master Plan! <laughs> I fucking hate that deck. Every other spiral card can be at three if Master Plan's banned. That's okay. That card cannot come. Does back. Spiral. How does Spiral go in a tier match? Can't, can't, tier, can't tier stop it? Yes. It can easily. Yeah, so Master Plan can come back. Oh, yeah, Master Plan's dark. Because then everyone else gets ruined. <laughs> That's not a problem, Jake. Master plan triggers when it goes to grave. From like, field? Yes. How do they get it to field, Ben? By summoning it off other cards. Yes, but generally in the graveyard? No, they loop it. That's that's where the problem comes in. Bestials. You summon it from deck. When do you summon it from deck? With agent. How do you summon it from deck when it's been milled? <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> You gotta play three master plan just to play around getting milled, and then you're gonna open a hand of three master plan and be like, <laughs> the millers are just so the millers and the the shufflers. It's just so wild. Like it's just that's actually the biggest issue. With it's this changed issue. the game. Where it's just like, oh crap, I milled the instant fusion. Or I milled the one of Nini for fucking mixed stuff. Um, but and you go, oh shufflers, I'll just use two on them and one on me instead. We're getting very close to Terrell and Master Ball. Yep. And then it can ruin two things. Just depends on how keen they are to release it. Like, we're still waiting on Illusion of Chaos, so there's potential that they just go, you know what, you can wait. You can't have two element at the time frame that it's supposed to come out. So they released Adventure with hits. Yes. Do they just release two element with hits? Yeah. I mean, I hope so, because they're not... Two element was a ramp, right? It didn't just come out and be like, we are the best. Like, Sprite was the better deck. No, but we just played both. Yeah. It was both, remember? Like, T was... T Sprite was just yeah, the deck. People played Sprite. A bunch of people played T. Because he was just, like, dangerous. Look at my dangers. Yeah, the dangers. Look at my dangers. And the thing you have to dangerous. consider, too, is that it was in... Like, we're thinking of two very distinct formats. Like, OCG and TCG mapped out very differently in terms of what was better, what was worse. We preferred T here. The OCG preferred Sprite. I think and being that they are more geared towards the OCG than they are the TCG, there's potential that they probably see Sprite 
as initially at least the bigger thing to address but anyway that's a thing to address in nine months when we actually get there um but yeah as to bringing back old cards um it's a fine line to trade like i don't think they can bring back zoo or like they dragon rulers or they can bring back dragon rulers yeah dragon rules suck Especially now with the shufflers. With new support. They need to release a they like in Dragon Ruler. Yeah, but on you send them and then just on, on resolution of the send, then you just bounce it and you go, good luck, dickhead. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, there's Look, there's definitely some cards, like if you compare them to tier element, could definitely come back. But then sure there, there is a fine line that you tread because some of them are so generic that tier just add them and then becomes better. <laughs> To your dragon link, uh, not to your dragon link, to your dragon rules. You mill them, then you summon them. Yeah, you just need more dragons. To your zoo, you mill them, then you summon them. Yeah, you just do the, yeah, you just use the bestials as the dragons instead. Still bring them back though, who cares? Or you don't have room, we don't have room for the cash tier to and stuff. Let 60 long... cards! <laughs> Add all the cards! Bring back grass. <laughs> No, they didn't even run that card in fucking yeah, the OCG. Yeah. Well, they do now. They did it first, not now. <laughs> no. At first, they were like, oh, we probably need to play grass in this. And then they realized the same thing we did. And it's like, what if we just played 40 cards and make this as consistent as possible? Yeah, because... When you can mill, what, the uh, mill 12 before Agito and Kelbeck, it's like, hmm, kind of good. So good. What else could come off? Um... Archetype wise, no, surely Zodiac can. No. Surely. No. No, they just brought it off and then they put it back. They gave us back Dryden and they're like, mm, this Zeus is a bad exists? Idea. No. Oh, the Zeus stuff. Uh, Zeus sends by card effect. Oh, who cares? Yeah, it triggers all the trailers. It screws over every other deck in the format. Except Trillmans. Yeah, so maybe it's bad. I want to see Zoo vs. Tier Element, actually. Do it. Bring it back. Give us Collector's Rare, um... Rap Beer. Rap Beer to three. Where's, all, where's Starlight Thousand Eyes Restrict? Oh, that God. would be very nice. Oh, the scenes. Oh, I'd be so broke. Uh, and not technically a question, because it was asked in a separate part of our we'll channel, get, we'll but Oracle has asked, uh, Chamber Made Dragon Form when? 2032. You reckon? Yep. Just in time for the Olympics. Yes. Yep. Just as Ben's about to sell out his collection and retire from the game, they bring out <laughs> Chain of Dragon Ball. That will be the word of me oh God. thinking of selling and they'll be like, fuck. Print it now, print it now, print it now, print it now. There's a giant red button at Konami that says release Chamber Dragon. <laughs> print <it>. scaly porn. <laughs> retirement discussion. <laughs> I'm really keen on a retirement discussion pod one day. Is there a quitting point? I've retired once and now I'm back. Would you say it's retirement when you're only, like, 16? I stopped playing well before that. I stopped playing when I was, like, 10. Yeah, see, service. we started later. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was only a thing when Bragg and I were, like, between 10 and 12. Yeah. Yes. No, I only kind of stopped playing once. But I'm trying to run the math on when I stopped. No, I would stop playing when I was, like, 13. 14. Right before Disposable Income came along. <laughs> What was yeah. I thinking? <laughs> Opinions in the Discord. When would you plan... When do you... Like, what age would you see yourself that you would yeah. stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh? What's your retirement plan? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like there's also a kids ratio where, like, if you're young enough and you have kids, you'd still be in the game, and then by the time they're, like, seven and eight, you're like, time for us to win Dragon Ball Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the goal. Win Dragon Ball Worlds, then I can for, retire. For Yu-Gi-Oh, though, they don't have the same sort of structure that they do with Take, Pokemon, do they? Uh, no, but uh, you should have seen the prize that was handed out at WCQ this year. No, no, no. I, I don't debate those good prizes, but like, if your kid does win Dragon Duels and gets an invite to Worlds, yeah. Oh, anyone you who have gets to a pay Worlds, for it. No, no, no. Anyone who gets a Worlds invites, they're free. Yeah, yeah, the kid, but what about... No, no uh, kids are allowed to bring a plus one. Yeah, because um, <laughs> someone bought team... Um, oh, team sorry, yeah. wife. No, so... <laughs> um, it wasn't Walter, it was the other guy um, that year. Because he was under 18, was allowed... He was given the funding for a plus one, so he brought Team Samurai with him. That's right, I yeah. do yeah. remember that. <laughs> it was all the people you bring with you, too. Just him sitting in your ear on the entire flight. 
Yeah. It was a pretty, it was, I didn't. I didn't hate that video though. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, he was much more tolerable back then. It was yeah, pretty. Infor- then. It was pretty informative too. Like, yeah. Like back then, he would only get like, pipe beast. Oh my god, this is incredible on his pack opening videos and his other videos were like structured now every fucking video is like oh my god guys fucking this you know and shit and tiktok yeah it is it, it's so he can make youtube shorts yeah it's cringe rescue ice best deck this is a broken <laughs> rescue his combo what you want to do is you want to draw your five cards and then go <laughs> That will very much conclude us for today. Thank you all very much for watching. As I said, feel free to jump in the Discord. Um, If you're listening on Apple Music and all that kind of stuff, feel free to favourite us. Um, And we will catch you next week. Peace. Bye.